All right, we're in. Welcome to Entrance Agent Training every Monday at 2 o'clock Central with technical problems or not, right? So today's a big topic. Today's show, I want, I want you to comment below what you're thinking, right? Because this is all about helping you and training insurance agents. Today's topic is a big one. How to, we get asked questions a lot about, about this a lot, right? Agents are asking, how do I sell more home and auto insurance policies? I sell home and auto, right? PNC, property and casualty. How do I sell more of it, right? So we're going to cover a few things, right? We're going to cover three different segments in today's show. Home and auto is all about activity, right? An average agent, an average agent will close about 20 policies per month, right? I do coaching sessions with home and auto agents. I know some major home and auto players. The insurance suit guys are speaking to the conference, right? I've got a couple home and auto guys in my own office, right? So I understand it. Average agent does this, right? A solid agent, like, hey, dude, I'm a really good agent, right? Will tend to do more. There's some offices where the agency owner is a little older and he's thinking about retiring, right? And in that case, maybe they're doing less, right? Or if they're trying to ramp it up and get going and start it, maybe they're doing more. But also, I want to give you three tips today to help you sell more home and auto insurance, right? The agents I know that are doing well, they are figuring it out and doing it with this. We had a, we had a, we had a home and auto agent, Brandon, who came to the retreat and we dove into his business. We, we scaled and figured out, hey, how do you do what you're needing to do, right? If you're gonna make, if you're gonna make 100 grand, we figured out what needed to happen based on the carriers and commission, whatever he was doing. We figured out what do you need to do to make that a reality? What's the target? Because you don't have a target, right? I mean, you hear some of the top people in the in the world talk about targets and the importance of targets, right? Grant Cardone, right? All these all these other guys, right? Coach Michael Burt, anybody that speaks at our conference, anybody that spoke at spoke speaks at other conferences, right? Bradley, I mean, all these other guys that, that say you have to have a target, and they're right. Because if you if you don't have something to shoot for, you are just floating through life, and you will fail and lose, right? So. With home and auto, it is all about activity, activity, activity that leads to quotes, right? And if you want that to be a reality before we get to tips, right, then you need, then you need to be doing about five quotes per day, which is about a hundred quotes per month, right? And so if you look at these numbers, you do the activity, right? To get to here, right? And then based on how competitive you are and how good your service is and your follow-up is and your rates and your carriers and your sales ability, then out of those same, same hundred policies, those same hundred quotes, Maybe you'll sell 20, maybe you'll sell 40, right? Or maybe, or maybe you'll sell 60, right? Because I know some absolute superstar agents, some absolute superstars, right? That are writing 60 policies. Per month, 20 is a barrier. I mean, it's just, that's kind of like the barrier entry. It just really is, right? Because I talked to enough agents in this field. I get what's going on. It's an activity place, right? That's where it starts. Then it leads to quotes, right? How many quotes are you doing per day? What's activity to make that a reality? And then depending on carriers, how competitive you are, what your landscape looks like, right? Your follow-up system, your marketing automation, all of it. How many carriers do you get to quote? All those things. Then 20. 40 or 60, and there's different choices, right? And you may have to click, uh, you may have to click decline on my phone at all if, if, if mine's going off. So you got, you've got activity, right? Then you've got quotes, then you've got policies. So what are three tips to help the activity 
portion. What's three tips to help the activity portion so that you can give 100 quotes a month, right? What do those tips look like? The first tip is to network, right? I, all, I believe in always be networking, right? Whether you're going to chamber events, whether you're starting your own networking group, whether you're joining a networking group, whether you're going to meet people, right? Whatever you're doing, you need to, your, your warm market is a network, right? And you need to be always networking. You can grab, right? You can grab about a quote a day, at least just from networking. After time, it's not gonna start immediately. Like, well, like when people join networking groups, they think they're going to make money immediately. I'm going to make a sell my first time I go to a networking group, that's false. It's impossible, it ain't, real, it ain't realistic and, it, and it's, it's awful to think that way. Instead, you go to a networking group to provide value. You give referrals first. You go walk across the room and reach out. You go introduce someone. You put forth as much as you can into the relationship in, in, in hopes that when they run into someone that needs home and auto, even themselves, that they will think of you, right? That's the relationship mindset. Networking is a great way to do that. So you can start with net, the network, right? We can also start to move into, this can slowly become part of your network as well, but referral partners. There's so many PNC agents that love the referral partner relationships, right? Car salesmen, mortgage brokers, real estate agents, et cetera. They develop these, the, even my father developed these, re, these referral partners now and even years ago that when he first got in the business, he didn't sell PNC, he sold life. So he referred business to home and auto offices to refer him life, right? And he always referred first, right? The person that refers first is actually trying to and cares about that relationship, right? If you're just like a me, 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 take, take, take person, I, 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 you will struggle with referral partners. So make sure that you're putting yourself out there and you're doing everything that you can, right? Go to lunch with your referral partners. Go play golf. Buy them lunch. Send them stuff, right? Send them stuff to their office. Send them referrals, right? This is how you establish strong referral partners is realize that this is a relationship business and the better relationship you have with your referral partners, the better chance you have of actually succeeding. And then the third, the third step is lead flow. And lead flow can vary. Lead flow could be like, okay, you know what? I do a lot of cold calling to sell home and auto. Great, I know people that do that, right? I generate my own leads, right? Maybe online ads, right? Maybe, maybe YouTube videos, right? I know a lot, of, a lot of people that generate leads from YouTube videos, right? For, for, for selling insurance, right? There's blogging, SEO. There's all these, or buying leads, right? There's all, or, or mailing, right? Or just, or door knocking to generate leads. Like there's all these different ways to generate leads. The big thing is you're gonna get some quotes from your network, right? You follow me? You're gonna get some quotes from your referral partners. And then you're gonna get some quotes from a lead flow. We always preach three different prospecting avenues. We did prospecting 101 for two plus hours on this topic, right? I did four live trainings. I just got back Friday night. I went to Houston, San Antonio, Austin, and Dallas, and we trained on the power of having three different prospecting strategies. If you put all your eggs in one basket and the basket's a hole in it, guess what? Your week is shot. That's why we always preach, right? Warm market weekly lead flow and a third activity avenue, right? So you can have different, you can still buy leads, you can still network and you can still have referral partners, which is also working your warm market. Then you can have a fourth one with just an activity avenue that when I don't have anything to do, I go do something, right? Because at the end of the day, if agents fell on the PNC side of the business, it's because they did not give enough quotes, right? That's generally the reason. Now there's other reasons that could apply. I get that, right? I'm aware of the other alternatives, but in reality, it's an activity game. We give quotes, we make sales, we make money, and we repeat the process, right? We put for some activity, we give quotes, we make sales, we make some money, we pay our bills, and we start the whole five steps over again, right? So no matter what you're selling, it is activity, but even more in the home and auto, the PNC space, right? You're like, Cody, maybe, maybe, maybe you don't sell auto insurance, right? Well, this, this applies to everything, right? But it especially applies to those that are selling home and auto, right? There's more home and, home and auto agents in the country than maybe any other agent, right? Because PNC is just an easy avenue to get into. 
You can get a base, you can get a lot of commission, whatever, right? It's, it's slow, it's growth, but there's a lot of successful agents that sell PNC very well and make a lot of money long term because they realized up front it was an activity game, right? Once they put forth a lot of activity, they realized they were gonna get quotes, right? And they have to be giving quotes to then make sales and depending on the scenario of the agent, of the individual, they may or may not make less or more than what's on the board, right? Some agents close 20%, right? They close 15%, 10%, right? Then they need to give a lot more quotes to sell 20, right? If they close 40% because they've got some, they're competitive, whatever, then fantastic. If they close 60%, they're probably either really good at, at, at closing, they've got, they've got, they've got a super competitive portfolio and they're giving way more than 100 quotes a month, typically, right? But there's three tips can help you with the activity portion. The reason people fail is they don't get in front of people. The activity portion will help that. Network, referral partners, and a weekly lead flow. This is insurance agent training. We do this every single Monday, right? All about training and helping you make more money. As an insurance agent, what's your world look like? What do you want to accomplish? What's your target? And how can you break down your target to succeed, right? We're here to help. We put out content every single day for insurance agents because we care, right? Do, do we care more than others? I don't know. Do they put out content every day, right? At the end of the day, if you want to sell more home and auto insurance, it's an activity game. It's a quote game. And you have to put forth the prospecting strategies to generate the activity, to give quotes, to make sales, to make money, and I want you to succeed. So this is how to sell more home and auto insurance policies. If you want more on this in depth, you'll want to go to 8% Nation this year, right? We got some major players talking about how to sell more home and auto from stage, right? And you do not want to miss that. So go to 8percentnation.com to grab a ticket. Hope you have an awesome week. I'm here to help, right? We love helping you. We love, we love doing this show. And we'll be back tomorrow for Phone Phenom. Thanks for watching.